Good evening, I'm Kimilia and this is Kini News. Former Attorney General Abu Talib Uthman stated that Najib still has a chance to clear himself in the 1MDB case. However, he stressed that this will depend on the strength of the evidence from his team. Former Attorney General Abu Talib Uthman said Najib Abdurazak's redemption in court hinges on comprehensive evidence, not sentiment. He said Najib still has an opportunity to clear himself of charges of misappropriating 1MDB funds when he gives his sworn testimony on December 2nd. But this depends on whether the evidence he presented is genuine or merely fabrication. According to Utusa Malaysia, he said this is Najib's chance to provide his testimony and defend himself if he believes there are facts that can support his position. He was quoted as saying that further action will depend on the strength of the defense's evidence, which must be presented convincingly. He added that the evidence provided must be comprehensive to refute the prosecution's claims. On Wednesday, High Court Judge Colin Lawrence Sequira ordered Najib to enter his defense in the 1MDB case. Among others, Sequira ruled that Najib had a responsibility to take reasonable steps to ascertain whether the 681 million US dollar deposited into his account, of which 620 million US dollar was returned, was from unlawful activities or otherwise. Still on 1MDB, Kyrie has revealed that he had met Najib before and told him to take action against Joe Lowe. Kyrie Jamaluddin has cast doubt on his former boss Najib Abdurazak's claims that he was duped by fugitive financier Joe Lowe in the 1MDB scandal. He said this in response to the apology the former prime minister made last week over the 1MDB scandal. In the latest episode of his Kluas Kajab podcast, Kyrie said he had met Najib and told him to take action against Lowe, but the then premier refused to do so. Saya pergi jumpa dia dan saya cakap pada Datuk Seri Najib, saya kata sir, you have it is exactly what I said. You have to throw Joe Lowe under the bus if he is responsible. Itu dah membuka ruang kepada dia untuk ambil tindakan seperti mana yang dia sebut sekarang. Bahawa dia terpedaya. And he looked at me and he said, No, Jolo is a legitimate businessman. Kari also argued that Najib's actions in Saki Muhyiddin, former UMNO Vice President Shafi Abdal, Attorney General Abdul Ghani Patail, and MACC Chief Abu Qasim Mohammed, as highlighted by Tony Poa, were not consistent with someone who has been duped. In conjunction with Malaysia Kini, turning 25 from now to 30th November, you can subscribe or renew your Malaysia Kini package with 25% off. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on your screen to enjoy this exclusive offer. Meanwhile, Zaid Ibrahim has claimed that Amno abandoned Najib. He said if they truly cared about him, they could have raised several issues to show that he is not as he is being portrayed. Kawan ni, dia selalunya masa kita ada kuasa, kita ada benda, dia ramai kawan. Tapi bila kita dah tak ada apa-apa, semua hilang. Jadi saya faham benarlah. Saya uh, simpati, simpati dan saya faham uh, dan kesihan kepada Najib ya? mengenai luahan hati dia, uh, kekecewaan dia. Ya? Saya faham. Tapi apa kita nak buat? Apa nak buat? Sebab UMNO tak pedulikan dia. Tetapi dalam kes Najib ni, malangnya. Walaupun banyak perkara-perkara yang boleh menjadi isu, menjadi naratif bahawa Najib bukan seperti yang digambarkan. Terlibat secara langsung menipu 1MDB. Kerana ada unsur-unsur lain yang boleh diketengahkan. Tapi UMNO tidak ketengahkan. Seolah-olah UMNO menerima bahawa dia bersalah. Zaid had also told Amno to find the root cause of the 1MDB scandal. He said this is one of the main reasons that the party lost in the last general election and it could help keep Amno dominant and relevant. Former law minister Zaid Ibrahim said Amno could only regain power by finding the root cause of the 1MDB fiasco. In a post on X, Zaid said Amno was booted from power mainly because of the scandal. He added that putting one man in jail is not finding the root cause. 
Instead, he said they needed to put everyone responsible for the matter behind bars. He added that he criticized the party, sometimes harshly, for its lackadaisical attitude towards Najib and the 1MDB scandal. However, he said this was because he wanted UMNO to be strong. Zaid said it was not about saving one leader, but about keeping UMNO dominant and relevant. According to him, they could do this by fighting for real reforms to make sure the institutions and governance are strong enough to prevent another 1MDB scandal. Zaid also explained why he thought UMNO was important. He said the party is far from perfect, but it's the only party suitable to govern Malays, Chinese, Indians, Karazans, Ibans, the stateless and Malaysia too. Lawyers for Liberty has likened the government to North Korea. This was in response to a probe against lawyer Rafiq Rashid Ali. Lawyers for Liberty has condemned Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim and his administration for continuing to invoke the Sedition Act against critics, activists and opponents. In a statement today, LFL said it seems that now no one can criticize the Prime Minister. Its director, Zaid Malik, likened the government to that of North Korea's. LFL was responding to a Malaysia Kini report that lawyer Rafiq Rashid Ali is being investigated under the Sedition Act for a speech he made at the Save Malaysia People's Court Panish Anwar Rally in Perak on July 27th. Zaid pointed out that Anwar and Pakatan Harapan leaders, many of whom are in the present cabinet, had criticized the Sedition Act in the past and vowed to repeal it if the coalition came to power. He added that it is an act of supreme betrayal that Harapan, the backbone of the Madani government, has entirely abandoned this promise and any previously held principles against the use of the Sedition Act against political opponents and government critics. Zaid said the continued usage of the draconian law exemplified the government's failure to uphold the fundamental liberties guaranteed under the federal constitution. He urged the government to take immediate steps to repeal the Sedition Act. Halafel also demanded that the criminal probes against Rafik be dropped. Still on the topic, Rafik has questioned why Anwar's supporters are still lodging reports against those who criticize the government. He said this after having his statement recorded by the police. Lawyer Rafiq Rashid Ali questioned why Anwar Ibrahim's supporters still lodge reports against government critics when the Prime Minister promised freedom of speech would be safeguarded. He said this after having his statement recorded by investigators at the Dangwangi District Police Station in Kuala Lumpur this afternoon. So, saya telah menyatakan saya akan jawab di mahkamah. Saya juga telah menyatakan bahawa rakyat Malaysia mempunyai hak untuk bersuara, rakyat Malaysia mempunyai kebebasan untuk memberi pendapat. Saya juga telah menyatakan dengan jelas uh, semasa dirakam percakapan bahawa beberapa bulan lepas Perdana Menteri sendiri uh, telah memberi komitmen yang amat tinggi di hadapan semua orang menyatakan bahawa tidak akan ada orang yang akan disiasat di bawah akta hasutan atau menghasut kalau sekiranya orang itu mengkritik kerajaan. Yang dia kata tak boleh buat adalah 3R iaitu menyentuh hal bab raja-raja Melayu dan sebagainya. Rafiq pointed out that until now, Anwar's supporters were still lodging reports against those who criticized the government and are upholding their freedom of speech. Rafiq is being probed over his speech at the Safe Malaysia People's Court Punish Anwar rally in Perak on July 27th. Commenting on this, he said he cooperated with the police and expressed hope that the authorities would consider the Premier's promise that the government would be open to criticism. That is all from me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook for the latest news updates. I'm Camelia. Thanks for watching.